Okay, so in this Hangman video, we're going to be checking out how you can future-proof your list. And what I mean by this is, actually, if we added extra words to our, sort of like our bank of words, our list of words that we created before, we've unfortunately then got this, in, it, this space that we have to change within that rand int. Every time we add a word, we have to up the count and, and put it down at the bottom, but there's a way, there's got to be a way, within Python, that we can actually use one of the functions inbuilt with it, to solve our problem. Let's have a closer look. Okay, I thought it would be really useful to see exactly what I would do in this situation. We want to future-proof that list, so I want to find a way in Python of actually finding a list length, or a length of a list. Now there is a lot of choices here, hang on then. Actually the third one down might be a better one, but we'll try this one first. And this is somebody stuck on something, Ooh, but they've used something called len to find the number of lines. I wonder if that would work in our Python. I wonder if we use the len command, and we'll add another one there just to make sure. Now the reason why we know it's not future proofed, if I added another one to the list, I've then got to manually change it underneath to five as well. So I've now got five items within that list. And it just seems an absolute waste of time. I want to be able to add a word to a list, and hopefully this len will actually tell me the length of the list, so it should print out 5 at the moment. Let's go for it. Absolutely, because I added processing, I've now got 5 items in my list. Now if I put 5 in that bracket, it's not going to work with the rand int, because if I've got the 6th one, I'll just add it in for a second. Here we go. Yes, it definitely works for that one. It's a bit like where I've got this 5 minus 1. If you remember, we had to minus 1 from it, because our list starts at 0. But if I do that within the, after the len, I can actually just type in my variable name list length to make it a list between 0, and in this case now, 6. always good to add a comment in at this point because at least it shows when you're reading back through why you took away that one. Now without any actual output it's very difficult to see. Let's just make sure it still works. I'll try it a couple of times just to make sure I don't get that error message. It's looking pretty good. Okay. No, I won't keep that for later. I'll delete it. Good luck future-proofing your list.